Welcome to this YSL Report Builder tutorial. In this video, we're going to look at how to create Boolean report parameters. So the whole video is about creating true false parameters. We'll start by looking at how we create a simple Boolean report parameter, and then how to compare that parameter with the value of a column. We'll look at how you can make Boolean parameters optional by allowing null values for the parameter, and then how you check for those. And then we'll look at how you combine those techniques by writing your Boolean filter expressions within the filter on the dataset itself. So let's get started. Here's an example report to show the type of parameter we're going to create. This report has two Boolean parameters. The first one allows us to select between showing Oscar winning films and non Oscar winning films by selecting true or false. And the second one allows us to show films which have made a profit and those which haven't, again by selecting true and false. When we hit the view report button, that will filter the results. And we can, of course, choose different combinations to show different outputs in the table in the body of the report. We can also choose to uh, provide no value to these parameters by ticking the null box. So if I tick the null box for the winner, I see a combination of Oscar winners and Oscar non-winners. And likewise, I can see a combination of profitable and non-profitable films by ticking the null box for the second Boolean parameter. If you would like to follow along, you'll need a copy of the YSL Movies database and just a quick reminder that you can use this video to help you get it set up. And there's a link in that video's description that you can use to get the script file you'll need. If you have done that already, I've got a blank report waiting for me in Report Builder. And in here, I'm going to start by adding a data source in the report data window. I'll call it Movies and use a connection embedded in the report, connecting to a Microsoft SQL Server I'll hit the build button to get some help constructing the connection string, type in a shortcut to the local host, dot backslash, and then the name of the instance of SQL Server I'm using, which is SQL 2017. I can then select my movies database from the drop down list towards the bottom and click OK a couple of times. And having done that, I can create a data set by right clicking on my movies data source and choosing add data set. I'll call this one films and then use the query designer to get some help selecting my columns. From the tables folder, I'll expand the film table and I'll have the title, the budget dollars, the box office dollars and the Oscar wins. I'm also going to apply a couple of filters to the query to make sure that I see films where both the budget and the box office values have been filled in. There are quite a few missing values in these two columns in the table. So I'm going to add a filter, first of all, to make sure that I see films where the budget dollars is not null. And then likewise, I'm going to choose to show films where the box office dollars is not null. Having done that, I can click OK and then OK again. And there's my data set created. And finally, for the basic setup, I'd like to create a simple table to display the results. I'm going to right click and remove my page footer first and then get rid of the placeholder title text box. Then I can right click into the body of the report, choose insert table and then assign the four fields I've picked. So title, budget dollars, box office dollars, and then I can drag the Oscar wins to the end of the table. I will just do some very basic formatting. First of all, um, to make sure that I don't encounter this font rendering bug, which occasionally means you don't see all the values you should be seeing in the table. I can do that by selecting all the cells and then switching from the default font to any other and then back to the default font. And then I can also do some very basic formatting for the column headers. I'd also like to make sure that the budget and box office are formatted as currency. If I click the dollar symbol on the toolbar, having selected those two cells, that's actually going to apply currency formatting according to my regional settings, which will give it to me in Great British Pounds. So having done that, I can individually select those two cells, launch the formatting dialog box, and then just make sure that I've selected dollars English United States as the currency symbol. So having done that for one, I can then select the other and do the exact same thing. And eventually I will be in the position I need to be to display the results. So dollars English United States is what I'm going for again. I'm also just going to uh, reduce the number of decimal places by highlighting both cells and decreasing the decimal by two places so I don't see any decimal values and then run the report just to check that it's running and working at this point and all that looks pretty good. 
Next, I'd like to create a Boolean parameter which allows the user to choose between showing Oscar winning films and non-Oscar winning films. In order to do this with report parameters, we need a true false value for the parameter to be compared with. So I can't just compare a Boolean value directly against a numeric value. So what I'm going to do first is create a calculated column which displays the value true or false according to whether the film is a winner or not. Let's head back to the design view and I can right click on the film's data set and then choose to add a calculated field. I'll call this one is winner and then click the FX button to launch the expression builder. All I have to do here is write the logical test which results in the value true or false. So I'm going to go to my fields list, double click the Oscar wins field and then ask if that is greater than zero. There's only two possible responses to that statement. That's either true or it's false. So if I were to click OK and then click OK again, I can add that column into the table just to temporarily display it. And if I run the report, we'll see that I get true next to films which have won an Oscar and false next to those which haven't. Now we can create our parameter to compare against the value of the is winner column. Let's head back to the design view and I can add a parameter by either right clicking the parameters folder and choose add parameter or by right clicking one of the cells in the grid in the parameters panel and then choose add parameter there instead. I'm going to call this one show winners and then for the prompt I say something like is film an Oscar winner or something along those lines and then set the data type from text to boolean. Having done that I can click OK and we'll see the parameter appears already with the values true and false available. Having created it, I then need to reference that in a filter. So I'm going to right click on my film's dataset and choose dataset properties, head to the filters page, click add, and then I'm simply going to check if the value of the is winner column, which returns a Boolean value. So I need to select the correct data type and then choose to ask if that is equal to the value of the parameter I've just created. So clicking the FX button to launch the expression builder, I can then head to the parameters list and double click the only parameter I've created so far. Once I've done that, I can click OK and then OK again. And then when I run the report, if I select true, it will show me all the films where the is winner column holds the value true. And if I click false, all the films where the is winner column holds the value false. Next, I'd like to make this parameter optional by allowing a null value. So I'm going to head back to the design view, double click the parameter either in the folder or in the parameters grid, and on the properties dialog box, tick the box to allow a null value. Now at this point, if I were to run the report, the, para the uh, parameter is set to a null value by default when it loads, but you can see I'm not showing any results. So I need to rewrite my filter to detect whether or not the parameter is null or is nothing in VB speak. So back into the design view, I'm going to right click on my film's dataset and choose dataset properties, head over to the filters page. And then what I'm going to do is write a Boolean expression for the value I'm testing for. And I want to write the expression such that it returns true or false and check if the result of that is equal to the value of true. So I'm going to start by actually writing the value true into the value box. I can then click the FX button next to the expression and then check uh, currently if the, if the is winner columns value, I want to check if that is equal to the value of my parameter. So just after this, I'm going to type in a space and then head to the parameters list, type in equals and then double click the show winners parameter. So at this point, what we've just done is essentially recreated what we initially had with that filter. So is winner equals the value of the parameter. What I want to do now is add an or operator and check if the show winners parameter is nothing. So is nothing is the visual basic way of asking if something is null. So if either of those two conditions are true, then I will return a result. So if I click OK, run the report, when I have the null box checked, you can see we're returning both trues and falses. 
So for each individual row in the data set, my two conditions are being asked, is the value of the is winner column equal to the value of the Oscar winner parameter? Or is the Oscar winner parameter equal to null? Well, it's equal to null for every single row, so that's why we're, at, we're returning all the rows of the data set. But if I untick the null box, choose either true or false, we'll see the corresponding results according to our selection. Next, I'd like to add a second parameter which allows me to select between profitable and non-profitable films. But this time, I'm not going to go to the effort of creating a separate calculated field to display the values true and false and then check the value of that column. I'm going to write the logical test directly within the filter expression. Let's create the parameter first. If I head back to the design view, I'm going to right click into the next available box in the parameter grid and choose add parameter. I'm going to call this one show profitable and then set the prompt to say something like is film profitable. I shall make the, um, the parameter a Boolean data type and I'm not going to allow a null value just yet. I'll come back to do that later. So at this point, I'm then going to click OK. Now I'd like to add a filter to the data set, which will uh, check whether the value of comparing budget dollars to box office dollars results in the value of my parameter. So I'm going to right click on my film's data set and choose data set properties, head to the filters page and then click the add button. I'm now going to go to the FX button next to the expression box and I'm going to check in a set of parentheses, I'm going to ask if the box office dollars is greater than the budget dollars. So I'm going to head to the fields list, double click box office dollars, greater than budget dollars. If that's true, then that means that the film is profitable. So I'd like to check if the result of that expression is equal to the result of my parameter. So I'm going to go to my parameters list, double click the show profitable parameter, and then click OK. I'm going to set the data type of that expression to Boolean, and then I'm going to ask if the result of that expression is equal to true, just as we did for the previous example. So at this point, if I click OK, and then I can run the report, and if I select true for profitable films, we should be able to see that the list is returning only those films where the box office is greater than the budget. If I choose false, then I'm returning all the films whose budget is greater than the box office. I'm not sure how reliable this information is, by the way. I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't read too much into this. This was a, as good information as I could find at the time I was building the list. So I wouldn't read too much into it if it's not entirely accurate. So there we go. Uh, we've got the basic parameter working at this point. To make this parameter optional, I can do the same thing I did for the previous parameter. Back to the design view, we can view the properties of the profitable parameter, choose to allow null value, and then click OK. And then I can go back to my film's data set, choose data set properties, and then on the filters page, select the FX button next to the expression for that, uh, that filter that we added earlier. So I want to return a result in my data set if either this condition is true or if the value of the show profitable parameter is nothing. So again, the same as checking if it's null. Having done that, I can click OK and then OK again. While I'm here, there's no real need to display the is winner column any longer. So I'm going to take the opportunity to right click and delete that column. And then we should see that when we run the report, when we have both boxes checked, we're seeing a combination of Oscar winners and non-Oscar winners and profitable and non-profitable films. But we can now select any combination of these parameters that we like. So we're now showing non-profitable films that are either winners or losers. And then I can select only the Oscar winning non-profitable films and any other combination that I like. So there we go. There's some basic Boolean parameters that we can make optional. Hope you found that one useful. Thanks for watching. See you next time.